feel good. How about you? <laughs> I'm all right, thank you. Did you get banged up at the end? No, just a little cramps every now and then, but I'm cool. Not much room to run? Oh, you know, they're really good up front. You know, uh, they did some great things against us, and uh, we just got to get better. Confidence shaking in that locker room? No, not at all. We know we have to come out here each and every day. We have to work harder, and uh, that's proven today. Too many turnovers, and uh, that's what really killed us the game, you know, too many turnovers, turnovers and penalties. That's, that's why we lost the game. Do you still feel you can do with this season everything you would hope to do before tonight? Oh, definitely, yeah. You just got to go back on the drawing board, and you got to get better and uh, practice harder. What kind of player is D'Anthony, and do you think you're going to have to help him kind of come back from this after the fumbles? Definitely, you know, he's a freshman. Uh, He's playing in a big environment, you know. Uh, you would expect him to make mistakes. Uh, he had to, he was throwing the fire real quick, you know. He has to grow up, just like a lot of players on this team. And uh, playing in front of a hundred thousand fans for the first time for an eighteen-year-old kid, I'm sure it's very difficult. He still seems to be pretty confident. Come back and make some big plays for you. Oh, definitely. You know, uh, you got to let it go. You know. Um, that's what you have to do, you know. We are family on the team, you know. If someone makes a mistake, then they make a mistake, you know. Everybody's human on this team, and uh, mistakes are going to happen. So pretty frustrating not being able to find any space to make moves for the second game in a row. Well, definitely, you know. It's always going to be frustrating when you can't. We're not able to run, but uh, we'll get better. Michael, 54 yards tonight, 49 yards against Auburn. Does the SEC play a different brand of defense than you see at West? Well, you know, we just have a. Uh, new people on the line, you know. Uh, it's not so much different, uh, but we're breaking in two or three, you know, freshmen and people who's never played in a game, a college football game in their life, you know. It's very difficult for those guys playing against a good typical uh, SEC opponent or anybody if we were to play it, you know, it's very difficult for those guys. You're home tonight, family and friends that come here to see you play, does that make it even more disappointing? A loss is a loss. It's going to be disappointing if no one's here. Michael, do you and the other veterans need to do anything to pick up the spirits or whatever of the youngsters on this team? We'll be fine. You know, uh, come Monday we'll be back at work and uh, we'll get it done there. How's your buddy Kenyon Barner doing? He's good. You know, he's happy. Uh, I don't know his prognosis or his injury or anything. I just know he's fine. He's walking around in the locker room. What did LSU do to stop your run? <laughs> they played good up front. And, uh, they had a good defensive line, but really killed us was the penalties. You know, we were moving at times, but the penalties really just, it just was a negative point for us. Would it have helped you if Darren had tucked it away himself a little bit, or was that just not there, that option? Come again? If Darren had tucked it away himself and run it a little bit, like he would normally do, or was uh, it not there? I, don't, I really don't know. You know, uh, when he doesn't, when he gives me the ball, you know, I'm just trying to find holes for myself. I didn't know what was happening backside. Or I'm pretty confident that Darren made the right reads, and uh, evidently it wasn't there for him either. A lot of guys have talked about needing to go back and work harder and be more prepared. Were y'all not totally ready for this? I think we're prepared physically. I think we held them just fine up front uh, in the beginning with just the penalties. You know, I don't think we're ready mentally. Like I said, you know, we have a lot of underclassmen and people that's never played in a college football game, and it was difficult. You know, I think we had two or three false starts or in just one drive, and that really hurt us. And the fumbles that really killed us. Did you guys miss Cliff Harris tonight? Definitely. Uh, we really needed Cliff, uh, Cliff and Kiko. Michael, you put on 15 to 20 pounds in the offseason. Do you think that? Definitely not. I feel like I'm just as fast as I was. But Michael, overall, why were they able to control your, your offense a bit? I know you spoke about it. We just got here. I apologize. Oh, uh, I think they controlled it somewhat, but I think we beat ourselves. Uh, they're definitely good up front. I cannot deny that. But uh, like I said before, it was the penalties that really killed us and hurt us. Well, I want to talk to DeWitt Stuckey. DeWitt's out here. Thanks, Mike. Michael, 12 penalties, four turnovers. You think that you win the game without that? Definitely. Uh, I think with the fumbles uh, that we had, they were in the, our territory, and it was easy for them to score. So you look at that, those three you know, fumbles that we had, and you take that away, then we win the game. I think that hurt us big time, but uh, we got to get better. Well, Michael, for the fans back home, what positives can you take out of this game moving forward? We played hard, you know. I think we gave 100 percent. You know, everybody played hard. It's just the mental part of it was really uh, not there for us tonight. Why do you think that was? Uh, playing with freshmen, you know. Uh, those guys haven't played a game, so uh, that's very difficult. And uh, breaking a new offensive line, and uh, that was difficult for us. What's the biggest thing you can take out of this experience moving forward? What do you learn today? You can get better. 
that's what you can learn from this. You know, it wasn't like we just got manhandled up front and all that stuff. You know, it was just the mental part of it. And uh, 